There are growing concerns tonight over possible communist connections to electric vehicle projects coming to Michigan. Those concerns were addressed at the state capitol today. 13 on your side's Josh Albertus has the latest. Well, members of the state legislature, as well as former U.S. ambassadors, held that press conference at the Capitol to expand on concerns over that electric vehicle battery plant scheduled for the Big Rapids area and its potential ties to the Chinese Communist Party. Concerns over national security connected to an electric vehicle battery plant were on full display in Lansing as state legislators and former U.S. ambassadors held a press conference on Tuesday. The focus was centered on a Goshen Incorporated plant that could soon be built in Green Tower. Township. Goshen's parent company has come under scrutiny for connection to the Chinese Communist Party. Now is the time for the governor, the Senate, the state legislature to just step back and put a pause. Also in attendance were residents of two potential battery plant locations, one near the Goshen plant and another near a Ford Motor Company plant in Marshall. There are so many issues. There's corporate welfare. There's a national security. We are 12 miles away from a sensitive Air National Guard base, a federal center, amongst other things. And I think that it's important to mention that not only is the environmental impact uh, in our own backyard important to us, but our residents are globally conscious. They are conscious that lithium mining involves slave labor. They are aware that lithium strip mining is devastating the environment in South America. And residents of our community don't want to contribute to that toxic supply chain. The two saying the issue transcended partisan lines, with Steele saying she voted twice for Governor Gretchen Whitmer, who has touted the plants as important milestones for the state economy. House Democrats echoed similar praises as they passed incentive funding for the plants last month. This is an extraordinary, serious moment, and it calls for us to govern seriously, to put aside rhetoric, to put aside foreign policy hypotheticals and do what is right for Michigan. The Senate Appropriations Committee last week approved incentive funding for battery plants in Van Buren and Marshall, but held off on approving funding for Goshen. Goshen's Vice President of North American Affairs has said that Goshen is a subsidiary of its Chinese parent company and is independent from any communist influence. Ground could break on that Goshen Incorporated plant as early as July of this year. Reporting from Lansing, Josh Albertus, 13 on your side. Republican state senators are also calling on a federal investigation into the Goshen battery manufacturing plant in Macosta County. They want to see if Goshen does have ties with foreign countries that have an adversarial relationship with the U.S. Part of that Goshen deal, as we hear, includes using taxpayer dollars to fund the plant and transfer $175 million in strategic outreach and attraction reserve funding. Republican senators claim the company has direct ties to the Chinese Communist Party, and they say the plant was planned secretly without oversight. However, operators of the North American Division of Goshen says they, are, they say that's not true, and they're asking for the state's congressional delegation to take action quickly before the deal is done.